All right, now comes the most important one for a reason. Uh, this is the former FDA commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, who shows up everywhere and he also has his opinion and he's on the opinion shows and being brought in as someone who has uh, expertise in the field. Both the governor and the California school superintendent were reluctant to embrace the idea of a mandate for a COVID vaccine for kids. Why? You have to be vaccinated uh, to go to school in most states. Why should COVID be any different? Look, people have have come to accept the other vaccines in the pediatric schedule that you referenced, measles, mumps, rubella, flu vaccines. I think this is novel. I think issues around COVID have become an unfortunate political flashpoint in this country. And I think you're going to see governors across the political spectrum be reluctant to mandate it, in part because they know if they step into this debate and impose mandates, that's going to engender more opposition. So they're likely to leave it up to local districts, at least to start the year. I think what's going to happen is if you see outbreaks in local communities, there'll be pressure for local school boards to mandate the vaccine. And I think you're also, unfortunately, in some some communities, probably going to see fights among parents um, trying to influence local school boards to mandate vaccination or local health districts to mandate vaccination among kids. So this is going to play out at a local level. Hopefully we enter into the school year where enough adults are vaccinated that we don't see outbreaks in the schools. Again, the community spread is the best, best predictor of what happens in the schools. And if you look at the data out of Israel, you're seeing cases come down substantially among kids below the age of 16, not because they're vaccinated, but because their parents are vaccinated, so they're not bringing the infection into the schools. This is very important for a number of reasons, journalistically most importantly. So Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA commissioner, is saying he's basically advocating for this. He talks about the way it'll most likely play out, you know, instead of doing a thing from the top down. You would kind of call it the marketing plan, how we're going to get this uh, solidified. Well, who is Scott Gottlieb really? He talked about that survey in Israel, which was a survey that showed that uh, the Pfizer, Pfizer, as you know, is a, has made Israel a huge testing ground. The Pfizer vaccine doesn't seem to do so well with variants or mutants. In fact, people have an eight times higher likelihood of getting infected by a mutant if they've had the Pfizer vaccine. Not a peer-reviewed study, but it has been it has been published and he was on CNBC talking about that. Again, the guy who is going to somehow help mandate your child to get this vaccine for school. And this is what I heard from him on CNBC. In this study that you're talking about involved the Pfizer vaccine. I'm on the board of Pfizer, of course. And it was- <laughs> Can you believe this? CBS is putting on the a board member of Pfizer to talk about the rollout. It's just, this is the journalist. Well, obviously the most mentioned wrong- that he was a board nah, member. Nah, I didn't hear it. I'm going to go back and find that report. If CBS put this guy on a board member of Pfizer yeah. and never once mentioned it, especially during the intros where it would have been mentioned, I'm I'm appalled. Never used the word appalled before on this show. <laughs> I don't think, I think it's, you're correct. It's a unique. He's on every show. Oh, former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb. He is on the board of directors of Pfizer. <laughs> I can't breathe when I see this stuff. Are two old podcasters the only ones to point out the obvious? Yes. This is how bad it's gotten. My, oh, my, oh, my. The news media doesn't care. They're bought and sold by the drug companies and Pfizer being number one. 